there's this great old show called Columbo. And I went through a binge watch of this a few years back. And uh, Columbo's, Peter Falk plays D Detective uh, Columbo. And uh, he's a homicide detective. And uh, it was kind of novel at the time, but they the, the way the show works is they show the murder that happens at the beginning and who did it and everything like that. And then you get a kind of walk with Columbo as he tries to figure out what happened and then uh, you know nail the person who did it. And uh, it's a great show. But in, in just about every episode in that show, he, as he leaves, he's questioning somebody, you know, the murder suspect, and then he'll leave, and then he'll always come back and say, ah, just one more thing. And uh, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just giving you one more thing um, on these videos. So as I was thinking about it, I just thought, you know, one thing that we've missed, we haven't talked about, is the, the validation of the data. And so we've, um, in this form, we want to make sure that the data that's being input is correct and we want to stop it if it's not and that's the part we're missing right now and so in our model we can set up rules so this is required and this is a foreign key and whatnot but we can also go in and put stuff like maybe i don't you know i'm not overly concerned about having the major in there so i can put a question mark on these things which says it's optional you don't have to do it maybe i'm you know i don't care about the last name because i'm you know if i date somebody famous enough then they just go by their first name or whatever all right, so then maybe with the age, I say, you know what, an age, we can do a range here, and the range is gonna be from zero to, I don't know what the, you know, in modern times, what's the oldest person, let's say 130 years old. So that we're not gonna get garbage data in there, you know, negative numbers or other stuff. That's the range that's, that's available. The phone number, we might say something like, the max length of this is, um, you know, if we take a, a, a U.S. phone, let's do the country, let's say like 15 characters. So 15 characters is what I'm going to allow for this phone number. And so we can go in and put in these rules, but how and when do these rules get enforced? And so currently, as, as our application stands, if I go in here and I just submit a blank application, so I'm just going to come in here and say submit, then my program crashes because it's trying to send bad data that the database on its side doesn't allow. So it says, hey, there's a not no constraint failed. You have to have a first name, but nothing in our form stopped that from happening. And so how do we solve that? Well, there's a couple of steps. One is that in order to um, determine whether we want to make these changes or not, we can go look at the, the model and see if it's valid. And so there's a statement that we put here as this application is being submitted, where we can say if the model state dot is valid. Okay, so if the model state is valid, then yes, we want to save changes, all this stuff we're doing here, then, then this stuff that we're doing, we want to um, do if the model state is valid. Otherwise, what do we want to do? So if the model state is valid, if it came through and all of those checks are right, then we'll go ahead and add the record, we'll save the changes, we'll uh, send them to the confirmation. Otherwise, what do we want to do? Don't we want to just send them right back to the form and have them, you know, fill out and and, and uh, make the changes to, to make the data correct? And so what we do is we, if if it was invalid, so the else is, uh, you know, invalid data somewhere in there, then what we're going to do is return them back to the view. But but we have to we can't if we just return to the view, it's going to come up with a blank view again. We need to send them back the info that they entered that was incorrect. And where is that stored? Isn't that just stored here in this application that came into us? And so I'm gonna return right back to the view and pass them back the data so that it's all back in the form so that they can go fix it. Okay, now that'll almost work. The problem is, is where do we wanna show um, where the problems are. Where do we want to give them the error messages? And so we have to determine that. 
And so on our dating application form, we can put in this little uh, note here, which happens to already be in here. This may not be take one. Sorry, hate to admit that. Uh, so there is this tag in here that wasn't in there before that says div ASP validation summary all. And so that's saying, give us a validation summary here in this little div, and it will go print out any error messages for uh, any of the things that we've set up in our model. All right, let's watch this work. So we come in, we fill out an application, and this time I don't fill out anything. I just press submit. All right, so oh, one other problem is that when I send them back to the form, that view bag is no longer in place um, because it was only, let's see, let's go back to our home controller. That was on the get of the dating application is where we fill, uh, filled out the view bag. If we're sending them back to the, the view, then we need to pass down that view bag again. Um, again, typically anti copy paste, but for the sake of you in these videos and trying to hurry, I'll do it. So I can just populate that view bag and send it back with the rest for that drop down box. And there's other ways we can do this, but um, that's what I'll do for now is the easiest solution. So fill out an application, don't submit anything, and it goes through and gives me some error messages. It says the value blank is invalid. This is super helpful. The first name field is required. And then another, the value blank is invalid. And then the phone number field is required. So it's giving us error messages. And if we don't like those specific error messages, we can always go in and do something like, uh, on the first name, we can change it and put in a required field, but then we can add to the required field an error message and say, um, sorry, you need to enter a first name. We can put in our own custom message there and if we do that, then when we run this again, then it will print out our own custom error message for that particular field. And so, um, but it's fine. Phone number field is required. Now this is the one that's concerning me. If I go in and put in a number here and I do this and that, um, so if I, I, I do these things and then submit the application, now it's not helping because it's saying the value blank is invalid twice. Now I know what one of those are, but I don't know what the second one is. And so let's, uh, I assume it's age. If I say 10 here, then that error is going to disappear. So um, it's saying the value blank is invalid. Um, so we probably ought to put an error message there with this range that says, um, how do we do an error message? I don't know how to do it. Is there a third option here? Error message. Yeah, okay, so error message equals you must enter a valid age. Let's try that. Close that one and see if that solves that problem. No, it doesn't. So I wonder what it's catching on. So obviously if I do a negative two, it's gonna say you must enter a valid age, but it doesn't like something about it being not null. Maybe we should pre-populate it. Um, age is not nullable. And so we can put a default value in by after our declaration here, we can say equals zero semicolon and that will put in an age of zero on a new application until they change it. So fill out an application. And now if I submit the application, now it still says the value blank is invalid. All right, well I said just one more thing, but uh, we're getting toward the end of our little video here and I need to still address this one. This is the one I thought I was talking about. We'll need to look at this one as well. Oh, it says the phone number field is required. Now, what if I do negative five? All right, we'll have to figure that out in the next video. Spencer out.